Ehrlichia. What is it? What can you do about it? How to know if your dog has it? How to treat it? You're going to find all about it in this video. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Once again, I am in sunny, warm, friendly Baja, Mexico. In today's video, we're talking about a very common parasite called Ehrlichia. Um, a couple different reasons. First of all, it's a common tick-borne parasite, which happens to be fairly common um, here in Mexico. Secondly, we're seeing more of it in the little community where I live in called Nelson, BC. Primarily what's happened is many we're bringing in many dogs that have actually come from Mexico. These are rescue strays that are, that are being adopted out. And, you know, as they're coming in, they're going in to see their veterinarian and locally they're being diagnosed with Ehrlichia. So it's something you need to be aware of. This is what is Ehrlichia. It's a bloodborne parasite. And if you look up in there, I've got a little picture of it um, on what it, what it would look like if we sort of do a microscope, sme uh, do a smear of a, a blood sample of a dog that's got an active infection what we may actually see within the smear itself. We're seeing this little parasite attached to the white blood cells. How does your dog get it? How would you know if your dog has it? Well, the first thing is they need to be bit by a tick that's carrying um, Ehrlichia, this little parasite, or this, this little bacteria that spread via the, the brown dog tick. It takes anywhere from one to three weeks after they're bitten, they can start to show then clinical signs. So the initial phase, there's three phases. The initial phase is called the acute phase. That's where your dog is initially bitten, the Ehrlichia um, bacteria is then transmitted to your dog, attached to their, their white blood cells, and they're showing active signs of infection. So that in that initial stage, I think your dog having like serious flu symptoms, they're having fever, they're le lethargic, and they're likely to have these big, up in here, you might palpate, might palpate cinnamon, she might have big swollen lymph nodes here under her mandible here. Maybe these ones, these pre-scapular in front of her scapula. You're going to feel swollen lymph nodes. But the single biggest thing that's happening is you get really low platelets. They're called, um, in veterinary terms, that's called thrombocytopenia. And that's immune mediated. Um, they're also attaching the platelets. The body's attacking them. They get extremely low. So that's sort of one of the initial screening tests. And you're going to see a dog that's got all these associated signs, followed up with low platelets. You're going to really... Um, Ehrlichia is going to be high on that sort of differential diagnosis list. The next phase is called subclinical. That sort of after it goes through the acute phase, let's say the dog, your dog has not been treated or a dog such as cinnamon ear living in Mexico has not been treated, and there it can sort of, it's sequester, it can, it can hide itself within the spleen, so it's not showing active signs of infection. And the only real, they say, indicator may be that you, your dog, the dogs may have slightly low platelet count, and or elevated globulins. That's a type of protein that's going to go up when there's an immune response. So, you know, the immune system is chronically stimulated, thinking about trying to fight this little bacteria that's hidden within the white cells within, within the spleen. Um, but at the same point, you know, you've got slightly low platelets because they've been damaged by the immune system. But there's not overt active signs of infection. So the subclinical phase, it can last for months, even to years. And you know, during that time, uh, the dogs can appear 100% clinically normal. Then the last phase, which happens in a certain percent of dogs, is called the chronic phase. Their dogs have gone from subclinical, then and entered and enters the chronic phase again. And once again, you're seeing signs of sickness. So the biggest things is these chronic low levels of platelets. These guys have these ongoing bleeding disorders, or this thrombocytopenia secondary to low platelets. They can have sort of elevated, elevated level of globulins. They can have secondary immune complexes damaging their kidneys called glomerulonephritis. Um, and lastly, they can have immune, immune type disease which is affecting their eyes, so the inner part of the eye, um, called uveitis. How would your veterinarian go about diagnosing your dog with Ehrlichia? There's two main ways to do it. The first one is the more common one, the Ehrlichia antibody test. They're actually testing your dog for the presence of antibodies, meaning they've, they've been being exposed to Ehrlichia and they can find there's an active immune infection. That though doesn't necessarily say that your dog actively has the disease, that they've had the disease, so they've got antibodies present. Um, 
Along with that though, you can do a blood smear. If there's an act of infection, sometimes we actually actually see the organism on the blood smear. There's an image of it up there in the corner, so you could actually then, no question, confirm the disease. And lastly, there are these newer tests called these PCR tests. They're actually testing for the presence of Ehrlichia, um, Ehrlichia DNA. You know, essentially, that's the, the structure of the bug itself. So they know that that's been within your dog, and yet you can get a pretty gauge from there, get a pretty good, good idea of your dog having an active infection and sort of from what sort of time period they've had it. The last thing goes on to treatment. How can we treat this? So the dogs in the acute phase, the subclinical phase, they generally respond best. Um, so primarily we're using an antibiotic called doxycycline. And, and for most guys it's given for a four-week a four week period, a 28-day period. And then they're suggesting two weeks after that, that, that dose of antibiotics, you're, you're doing the DNA test to see you know, is there a Ehrlichia DNA present or not. If it's negative, great, repeat it in two months, confirm that it's treated. If it's positive, you're doing another four weeks of treatment of with doxycycline. So, but those are guys that respond best. That, that's the acute clinical, the acute phase where their dog's first sick. Most of you guys are going to recognize that. Subclinical phase, they can still rep respond then. But then if we're looking at the more chronic phase where you've got, you can have these secondary immune-mediated diseases, you want to first obviously use the, the tetracycline or use the doxycycline. You want to try to kill that bacteria if it's still present. But you may have to look at some other treatments as well, maybe avoid involving steroids to help deal with the secondary immune-mediated response. So thanks again you guys for watching this edition of Energy Secrets. Um, once again you gotta thank Cinnamon. She sort of took off midway in the video. She's like, I'm done. Man, you got rid of the ticks. I like, use me for one video. Don't keep me using for more. She's an awesome dog. Um, there, here, here she is again. Um, so definitely give give her a thumbs up to this video. Click up there to subscribe to my channel. And lastly, click that link directly in the box below. When you do that, you sign up for my newsletter. I can see you around my free books and my free videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies.